Hello all, welcome to a new episode of GitHub Copilot. In today's episode, we are looking into the streamlining of the Kubernetes automation with the help of Copilot. When we do the Kubernetes automation, we plan different areas. The automation can be done as part of the provisioning and cluster setup, or it can be the application deployment and scaling aspects or managing the entire configuration as an external system altogether. And CI-CD will be integrated to any of the CI-CD systems. It can be the GitHub Actions, Jenkins, or any external CI-CD systems altogether. Monitoring and logging. You can use Prometheus or any of the monitoring systems for monitoring the Kubernetes cluster and log the information. The entire steps can be automated altogether. So there are various aspects of Kubernetes automation and today's video we are looking at three main areas how to provision the cluster and configure it. Second one is the configuration management to using the external tools and the CI CD a little bit. How we can take the help of Copilot to automate all these aspects. That's the scope of today's session. So let us start with the first one the provisioning and cluster setup. Most of the Kubernetes engineers uh, who loves to use the CLI or the command line interface uh, dealing with the different commands related to kubectl or the if it is AKS Azure Kubernetes services the AC commands or the AWS commands it dip, depends on where the Kubernetes is uh, hosted but most of the time you love to use the terminals or the command line interfaces in various forms. So Copilot extends the support even to the terminals. So you can leverage the Copilot support in the terminals. So let us see how Copilot enabling you to provision a Kubernetes cluster using terminal first. Then we move to the VS code as an ID as Copilot support various IDs. I'm demonstrating using VS code exactly the same code or the prompt works across the different IDs. So we'll move to the VS code and see different provisioning aspects using VS Copilot chat. So I'm in the terminal starting with the first one. Maybe I need to set up the kubectl as a newbie into the Kubernetes world. I need to set up my system all together. So how to use the terminal? You start with the GitHub Copilot, GH space Copilot. You can ask suggest or you can just enter also. So I'm going it as a single line right now. How can I install or set up kubectl? This is my question. Within quotes, you specify the question whatever the question is. So I am looking at generic shell command. CLI is offering support for different types of commands. The shell command or GitHub command or GitHub commands. If you need more details, please refer the corporate CLI video, which is hosted already. I will share the link in the description. So I am going with the generic shell command. So it's going to give me the command for installing kubectl in my system, my Mac system, how to install the kubectl. It's provided the details, but as a newbie, again, I may need some more support for explaining the command. I'm asking Copal to explain the command, exactly what you mean by sudo, apt get, install kubectl. Each of the items in that command is explained in details. This is first example how we can use GitHub Copilot. So I'm going to the next one where I'm going to create a cluster in AKS altogether. So this time I'm going for Copa, GH Copilot, going to enter and it's provide me the entire elements. I can either ask for configuration or explain or suggest. So these are the three available commands available. If you need a suggestion on a command, you go for GitHub Copilot suggest. That is what we used already. And I am going to enter here. Now again, Copilot is asking which area you need a suggestion. I need the shell command based suggestion. Looking for 
provisioning an AKS cluster with two nodes in my RG with a specific name. So it's provided the entire command here, AC command with the AKS create resource group is whatever we passed here, my app RG and it's specified the RG name is provided, the node count generate everything is available. So if I am not clear of this command, I can again go for explaining the command. So Copilot is taking time to explain each part. It specified this one is for the resource group and this the cluster name and how many nodes and the generation of SSH key. This is what it can be done. So explanation is also working fine. So let us go for a little more complex scenario where we need multiple commands to achieve a specific one. Let us ask Copilot to give me multiple commands whether Copilot is going to support such ask. I'm going to ask to create an kubectl scripts which is required for Azure resource group creation and a case cluster with three nodes. This is what I needed. So I have asked uh, Copilot to give me this information and then asking for explaining this command. Three different commands came and going to get an explanation about each of the command. So the first one is for creating a resource group and the second one is for the creation of the AKS cluster then installing the CLI. So if I feel uh, the resource group name is not appropriate, I need to change it. Then you can go ahead and revise saying that consider the resource group name as my app RG. So this is my resource group. It revised the previous command with the, the revision. So here resource group is changed to my app RG. That's a resource group name I have provided. So this is how the copilot is supporting in the terminal. You can explore more using shell command, GitHub command and Git command. Let us quickly move to the VS code and understand how the provisioning aspect work in the VS code itself. So let me start with the first one where I am going to ask Copilot to create the command again. So as Copilot is providing me different agents, terminal is the first agent which will help me to create the command instead of an application or any other aspect. Terminal is focused on generating the command which you can run on the terminal angle. So I have asked Copilot to create an kubectl command and ac command for logging to assure creating the different areas so, so it's a login is done there is a creation of resource group so wherever we need a placeholder it is added here if i need to revise it i can regenerate the same considering the different aspects so i am going to ask again copilot to regenerate the previous one so uh, regenerate the previous commands by considering the specific resource group and location and cluster name. So the next time the placeholder is replaced with the proper values in terms of the resource group, cluster and the location angle. Different elements are considered here. So you can take each of the command in case there is a deployment configuration name file is not there. So it's a placeholder. You take this into the terminal directly. You can click on this one to take this as part of the terminal. Then modify here or make it to copy into a text file or into a new file and you can modify accordingly. So Copilot generate the complete requirements kind of thing. The AKS configuration, kubectl commands for configuring the different areas and everything. Now. Here we have a deployment configuration file. Let us see whether Copilot is able to generate that as well. And I am going to ask Copilot terminal itself now to see whether it's providing a terminal command for generating the deployment configuration file for the node application with a specific name. Dashboard app is the name of my application. 
let me see whether it's able to bring the proper deployment configuration which then i can apply for the previous commands uh, wherever it's required a deployment configuration so it's going to create the entire aspect so you, as you can see the configuration captured the name of the application and it's a node.js application image that needs to be replaced with either custom image or industry standard images and whichever the port you require that is also there and the service for ex exposing the application to the outside world in a particular port so it's a completely available the deployment yaml file i can configure or modify it according to my requirement so sometimes we work on this individual command one after the other but sometimes we go for creation of a powershell or a shell sh file which contain similar kind of command so it can be reusable kind of thing the same prompt i am passing by adding create powershell script file so i need the similar kind of command for the same a case cluster provisioning but it should be a powershell file which will help me to reuse the commands so this time it's create the entire aspect as a power ps1 file then i can transfer that into a powershell and use it for a later time and it's considered my dashboard app yaml also it's uh, based on this previous prompt in previous prompt we specified dashboard app is my uh, configuration file so based on that this entire aspect is key so you can just click on adding to a new file modify what, wherever you need modifications then save it so this will help you to reuse the generated provisioning command kind of thing so sometimes only we go for powershell most of the time we use either the cloud specific shells or a terraform or ansible kind of thing so let us see whether copilot is able to help that as well so slash new will be able to provide me support for creating new applications from scratch so i'm asking copilot to create a terraform app for exactly the same for provisioning an AKS cluster with three nodes and connect the cluster, deploy a node application and return the URL. So it came with the base structure here. Now click on create workspace and select the parent folder or a specific folder location where you want to create the Terraform application. Now Copilot is going to construct the entire structure application solution with the defined files so the terraform application is uh, created you can see that the structure is came here the main is having the resource group and the case cluster certification and queue configurations there is some elements on the output what are the output we needed the resource group, group cluster name and node application any specific variables there are set of variables are defined here and it's given a sample node application here which is hello world kind of application which can be used for our deployment angle and the connection deployment all the kubectl commands are populated properly and the different terraform scripts for deploying aks node.js and resource group creation is also configured here if i feel some modification requirements are there we can go ahead and modify and accordingly always the developer is the decision maker he can understand the code and try to modify based on the requirement further but copilot is able to generate the complete terraform application based on our prompt so most of the time terraform is used to buy the people who are uh, into multi-cloud strategy they need to deploy the exactly the same thing across multiple cloud kind of thing if i am using azure alone i may not go with terraform instead of uh, azure bicep maybe the uh, strategy i can take it up so i am asking whether copilot is able to create a bicep file for me can which can provision a, a case cluster with the uh, two nodes uh, again uh, the bicep is ready here let me see how copilot is created the bicep which can help me to span a, a case cluster with the two nodes so we are in the bicep now 
uh, going to open here it's a um, define the cluster name and there is a user definition here and main bicep contain the AKS module so it's a AKS cluster definition is captured and some of the things like node count is coming from here there is a two nodes is triggered cluster name is also there so properly captured the parameter in a separate file and biceps are defined properly let us see how copilot is going to help us with aws cloud formation template for provisioning an eks cluster with two nodes so simple example i am trying it needs to have a cloud formation template it can be even asked as a single file instead of an app but here i went for an app creation let us see how the copilot is generated the cloud formation template which can provision an eks with the two clusters so aks eks these all are the kubernetes deployment in the respective cloud areas Similar kind of deployment can be done even into a cage system or any of the Kubernetes supported ecosystem. So the AKS cloud formation setup is done. You can see the parameters are captured properly, different date points, parameters, different parameters like key name, bootstrap arguments, and any kind of the cluster name. Everything is captured as a parameters. Under the template, you have the EKS cluster information here and the node information is captured here. There are two nodes, which is our node group requirement. Any security group in the BPC is required that also can be added. Networking and master aspects. So in case you need a further input requirements here, you can ask Copilot itself. Its inline code completion tool will help you with different metrics or different modifications on the generated file. So we have completed the provisioning and setup of the Kubernetes in AKS or EKS or any of the Kubernetes clusters. Now let us move to the next topic that is configuration management. So bringing again our ID, the configuration management start with the simple deployment file. So I'm going to ask Copilot to create a deployment configuration file to deploy a node based application. We have already seen how to create a deployment configuration file in the previous provisioning time itself but we are double checking whether it's able to create for different technology kind of thing we created earlier for node here it is for dotnet so it's a dotnet app is used and the os is windows we are using windows for the dotnet app it can be dotnet framework that support only windows based systems so it needs to be hosted in windows or if it is a .NET Core system, you can specify that and modify the node selector as Linux or any other system as well. And the service endpoints also available here. So this properly coming up with the configuration for the .NET application. Let us see whether Copilot is able to help me to understand what are the configuration management tools for Kubernetes. So I am asking Copilot to bring me the information on configuration managements available for Kubernetes. So there will be different management systems. Hum and the customize is used uh, uh, widely. So we will see even Pulumi is used by most of the people. So let us see how the system support these two areas. So I am going to ask a customize template for a application first. Again, going for new application. So I need a new template altogether for a Kubernetes cluster with three Linux node. Ingress controller should be configured and load balanced. And the requirement is to create an application for SP.NET API deployed from the Azure Continent Registry and there should be a connection to a database as well. So this is my requirements 
and let me see whether copilot is able to bring the complete configuration for me in custom template based it defined the structure here based on that i have asked to create the workspace so the template is ready here let us see the structure first Yes, its defined structure is came here, looks fine and the base area where the deployment is there captured my ASP.NET and I have asked for a connection to a database. So there is a connection string defined here. So the service anchor ASP.NET API is coming as a service and the ingress is configured using NGINX and the customization this the complete information captured and that replica is available for dev deployment and also the production deployment angle both the copies are available in case there is a deployment differences required we can configure that accordingly so the template is ready the entire configuration for the uh, sp.net application with the database let us see the similar kind of template with the hem hem is used widely so the same prompt only difference is hem is used here we are asking for a hem template for kubernetes cluster with three linux nodes and ingress controller it's for again asp.net api deployment connection to a database so we are going to create another application for the hem based deployment configuration so different configuration possibilities are there. We just exploring these two areas to understand how Copilot is going to support the configuration management of Kubernetes automation. The hem based template for Kubernetes configuration is ready here. So let us explore the different areas starting with, with the values. There is no values defined and it's a hem template um, manifest is defined here and internally the values are captured here that's maybe the reason this file is empty we may not record this one so these values have the different repositories we can specify which acr is my repository which contain the image and the cluster ips nginx is used and the connection this is for testing the connectivity angle the service is deployed here it's an asp.net service and ingress should be nginx and the deployment configuration asp.net there should be somewhere the image pulling is happening here using the image secrets and everything so it looks like it's came with a hem template uh, basic session is there we can just reconfigure with the wherever the placeholder is there you may need to change it with the appropriate values so the entire hem template for this particular requirement is here do the further modifications to meet your requirements so saying that the copilot support various uh, configuration management tools for kubernetes you can automate the configuration management with the help of copilot so let us move to the next topic that is ci cd the ci cd of or the kubernetes automation in ci cd will be linked to one or the other ci cd tools so let us explore some of the tools how the copilot is going to support in the world of kubernetes based deployment angle so i'm going to ask the first one is a jenkin where um, copilot is able to help me so start with how to officially install the hem charts on link jenkin kind of question so i need to understand how the official jenkins hem chart can be set up in my cluster for jenkin based deployment it's a combination of jenkin and hem is used for this deployment angle so the set of steps and the commands are provided here you need to add the Jenkins repository to ham and the different installations uh, requirements and the kubectl for getting the admin password uh, mainly admin password is used for unlocking our jenkins uh. so what's the kubectl command for that one in case we need the url for jenkins 
you need to run this kubectl for getting the url for the jenkin to uh, get more information kind of thing so it works fine or if you want separate jenkin url another command or something you can again prompt copilot to get the gen how to get jenkins url so copilot always linked to the previous uh, prompt and associated with that one it's understand that um, we are not looking for a generic jenkins url instead of that it's a kubectl the kubernetes cluster mentioned above will be the better approach so the contextual response is coming but if it is a blank chat the initial chat angle if you are asking for jenkins url it may suggest to you to go to specific place and search for the jenkins installation and everything here it's linked to the previous contextual prompt or the previous communication to formulate the response so let us see how to create the hem based job in jenkins the step by step instructions i am looking at so how i can configure this hem chart deployment in jenkins so it's provided me the step by step in requirements like open the jenkins go to navigate to a particular place and creating the job and do step by step this one for ensuring that a proper jenkins setup is there for deploying through the hem so similarly we may go and ask the uh, integration with github actions uh, under ci cd tool so i'm going to ask a new um, actions workflow or even you can look for the simply saying create a github actions workflow for deploying the kubernetes cluster using hem chart so the basic example is coming here i haven't given any contextual information if we are passing a contextual information it will pick it from there so this the generic hem chart deployment angle and it needs to provide some of the inputs here so kubectl configuration of the user context so it's a started from checking out the code in setting up hem and kubectl and running the different hem and kubectl commands for deployment angle if we want to revise this recommendation with uh, some more test steps or jobs kind of thing you can ask copilot to revise the steps by adding another job which can use for the testing the angle so actions are a very flexible system automation framework it's not only for ci cd it's used for multiple purposes so here i am asking to add one more job altogether for testing and it should be sequential that's what i mentioned as part of my um, requirement here it should be a sequential job normally in actions be event jobs a deploy job came here if you want it as a sequential you need to specify the dependency using this needs keyword so copilot is able to establish the dependency based on my requirement captured in the prompt and come up with a proper actions workflow now i can modify some of the path to hem chart and everything and use it as my actions workflow saying that thing we covered the kubernetes automation or the uh, copilot's impact or the play in kubernetes automation in three different areas provisioning of the cluster provisioning and setting up this cluster configuration management and the ci cd three areas are covered but if you have more questions like uh, how to monitor the uh, kubernetes cluster let us see whether copilot is able to help how to monitor a uh, kubernetes cluster so copilot is able to help you with technical questions also how i can configure my cluster monitoring systems so there are multiple systems are available like prometheus grafana or the dashboard systems so copilot came with a set of um, suggestions and if you need uh, further information how the prometheus can be configured for copilot uh, kubernetes cluster monitoring I, I can ask again copilot for more information so i hope this video helps you to understand the impact or the evolution of the kubernetes automation in the generative ai world you can take 
Gen AI support, the Copilot support for quickly configure or quickly set up the Kubernetes cluster and automate the end-to-end -end aspects. We covered three of them. Explore the remaining angle and how you can leverage the capability of Copilot to achieve your end-to-end -end Kubernetes automation. Thank you.